Good morning and welcome to Chi Chan. Here are some photos I took in 2018, just after the course opened. This course was built to host professional tournaments. It's very long. It has a lot of deep bunkers, especially fairway bunkers. This course is not for the faint-hearted. It is exceptionally difficult to play with large greens, huge drop-offs, big slopes. Making a score here can be quite difficult. Here it is today. Trees have grown up. Although it's not that many trees, it's quite wide. It's quite generous off the tee. That is not where the difficulty lies. The difficulty is when you get to the greens. There at the end is the Chi Chan Buddha Mountain. We're starting from the 10th today. It's quite a narrow fairway, this with some seriously deep bunkers. I'm just going with a three wood. I feel that gives me the best chance of finding the first fairway and therefore the first green. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Oh, great putt. For the 11th, I'm aiming up at the big bunker in the distance. I can't reach it. Oh, but I way. can reach those. That sucks, Dix. Once you find a fairway bunker, your par has gone out the window. You can't reach the green. These bunkers are for professionals. Most certainly not for me. But I've got a clear shot, so I've got a chance. Now you might see one or two gimmies in this round, and that is very simply. Because yet again, I'm the meat and the sandwich between a very slow group and a very fast group, so on occasion I'll just pick the ball up. This group in front is so slow that I got chance to wander off and get some video of the mountains. It is really so pretty here. The flag today is very friendly. I certainly don't remember it being this friendly last time I was here. But without a warm-up, and with hanging around, I'm hitting exceptionally poor shots. So it's back to trying to fix problems on the golf course that should have been fixed on the range with 27 irons just to warm up. And we've certainly got the grain incorrect there. I thought that ball was going to that chip was going to run down to the hole and it just stayed out there. A long hole but it is downhill and there is a downslope with the ground now being dry. Yeah, nice this drive runs out just over 300 yards. All I've got left in is a wedge. Look at the depth of that bunker in front. Oh, thin again. And another knife. Yes, we're still doing that. Now this is what I mean about the slopes on the green. If you get in the wrong place, you really don't have much chance of a two-putt. And the reason why there was three balls on the green is because when I knife that wedge, I had to drop another and have a go. Just stay there. Tong tong. Water down the left. Oh. I'm aiming at that bunker that I can't reach. I suppose that's one way of uh, missing the bunker, is to miss the fairway entirely. 
5 wood for position. As you can see, the rough here isn't particularly long. It does allow you to play. I'm sure they grow it up for when they have a professional tournament here. A little too far for me wedge. So we'd go for a smooth 9-iron. Perhaps that's helping me to actually hit the ball properly instead of knifing it. Fifteen is a short par four. You've just got to drive between those two lines of bunkers at an angle. My choice is the five wood. And that's perfect. Okay. Nine iron up the hill, on an up slope, so you've got to club up. Let's see if we can stick it in close and see what happens. Sixteen, par five. Now from the yellow tee, you can get over the bunker. And then you get a long run out down the hill. And you reach the front of the green in two. From the back tee, you kind of got a bail left. 240 left. Six iron is the wrong club. It's going to leave me one of those in the middle of nowhere third shots. That bunker you can see is actually at the back of the green, it's not at the front. I've just overhit this. Oh, big. What a bloody brilliant place this is. Say I played it five years ago and the greens were sanded to hell and it was impossible to make a score. So I'm definitely in revenge mode. And I'm also a little out of sorts as you've seen. Bit of a long wait here on this long par three. I could certainly have done without that. So it comes as no surprise with the concentration broken. I hit my four iron like this. Enjoy the long wait. Bugger. Flag is way at the back. So we're uphill and into the grain and then it goes downhill and down the grain. I got to get this over the ridge in the middle of the green. Oh, stop dead. And of course when you are into the grain, it's like pitching into treacle. And with the size of these greens, if you're in the wrong place, you can kiss your score goodbye. They really are difficult. Big, big slice. Not in trouble though. Just don't do that. At least there's a bit of space out there. Perhaps I chickened away from the bunkers on the left. Four iron into a green that I can't see. Because I didn't hit my drive far enough. And then it's all down to the caddy. We managed to overtake three groups who'd stopped in the drink stop for an hour. They were going to have their lunch. Bunker down the left is in play. I can't reach the bunker down the right. So that is my target.
I have no idea why I chose the wedge here. The flag's on the front just over a bunker. And that's the bunker. Short. Okay, nine nine. That came out a bit clean. I've gone all the way to the back of the green and I got this from a par. What a putt. Great par five this. Aiming up the bunker at the right that I can't reach. When Golf Psychic came here, he hooked one onto the beach. You don't want to go down there. Just a four iron at the bunkers in the distance that I can't reach. It's definitely a three shot hole this. And the Chi Chan Buddha. I don't like the look of this flag, it looks to be right on the edge, so an easy sound wedge, safely right at the flag, we'll get our part and get out of here. Although now I'm on the green it looks like there was more space than I thought, but all the same, part will do me nicely. Wind's off the left, flag is on the left, this is a 5 iron. It's going to take a good one to find this flag. driver is too much club here so it's three wood closer face down hit one of those low running hooks a bit like that I don't know what the flags doing there did I win a prize didn't record my chip so this is for a par. Boy, I just wanted some more speed on that. You do get afraid of these greens. Lovely par four, water down the left again, just like the par five second. Aim at the bunkers on the right. And one of my better drives. One of the better ones today. What I can tell you is if you miss this green a tiny bit left, the ball's going to run away 30 or even 40 yards right down to the edge of the water. I know that because oh, I did that on, last get on, time. Get on. Okay. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> My goodness, I'm on the fringe here. I'm literally two feet away from being another 30 or 40 yards away. Now it turns. Now it turns. That's what can happen here. Your score can just go through the roof by missing your target by a couple of feet. Par is damn good. Lucky par. Very lucky. Par three again. We've had a bit of a long wait. As you can see, I'm aiming a fraction left. So, this isn't going to go well, is it? Ah. The joy of a long way. A oh, hell of a good strike, though. Up all the way. Mm. Okay. I got the edge of the. When you're this far away on this style of green. Two putts is not a given. Well, that just burnt the edge of the hole. And even from here, it's not.
chiselled in stone, you're going to make it par. Oh, it stayed there. These greens are very difficult. Yeah. Longest par four is back into the breeze a bit. There's quite a bit about this week, as I've already mentioned. Oh, Simon. And I find another creative way of missing the bunkers. Okay. Fat as hell, halfway there. I wonder if James's pitching lesson can help me out. I certainly need it today. Maybe it's a big. <laughs> Long par four eight. All that sand down the right is not very attractive to me. So I'm going straight down at the Chi Chan Buddha. And just for a change, there's a straight one. Camera's a little unsighted, but we got bunker left and right. One nine two. I'm going four iron because this ought to fly. Yeah, I'm not using the middle anymore. Just down left of the green. If I can hit a decent chip, I've got my par. Simon, you hit, didn't hit it. Oh, you yeah. had the chance. Sorry. Par five ninth to finish. Bit of a long hole. There was four groups on this hole. One in the fairway, one in the further fairway, one on the green. All we do is hang around here. In the middle there. <laughs> I really should have finished this with a par. <laughs> but there isn't a single good shot to be had on this hole. What made it worse was when we got up to the green, the group behind didn't actually wait. They just played into the green while we were putting. Fortunately, they didn't hit us. But this sometimes happens. Your some nationalities don't wait for the green to clear. They just play. Waiting, constantly waiting. And it can get quite dangerous at times. I'm disappointed with this hole, but all in all, 78 round here from the white tees, six and a half thousand yards, is pretty damn decent. Up and down. Okay, up and down. And you must remember to give credit to the caddies. They spend their day doing their very best out there and stayed out there. to make your score as good as possible. No complaints about this round. 78 is pretty damn good. Ta-ra!